Show me the hotel. He did show it. And then. Um, Isn't that when he said uh, for uh, a spirit has no flesh and bones? Wasn't he explaining? Yeah, he's, no, he's saying I'm not a ghost. This is my body again. I'm resurrected. Because they said, is he a ghost? And he said, how can I be a ghost? Like, put your finger in the hole. I'm not resurrected. That's what no, he was trying to prove. No, no. He was saying, I'm not a ghost. Ghosts not, are not spirit, resurrected. They're not a ghost. Spirit, a spirit is a ghost, yeah. The yeah, Holy but, Ghost and the Holy Spirit are interchangeable Jesus, for the paraclete. Jesus, describes Jesus never said, I am not resurrected. But when Jesus describes he a resurrected... He said, I am the resurrection. When Jesus describes a resurrected body, uh -huh. yes. uh, he describes a resurrected body as being spiritualized, like unto the angels, according okay. to the Bible. He is made lesser than the angels, according to Hebrews. No, but that proves but that he angels. wasn't resurrected. No, he himself said, the man who claims to be the truth said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. After, is that after he... Yeah. After that, yeah. he, he tells them this is me. Uh, the, reason, appears, the reason he's sorry, 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 because I am very hungry. The reason he's saying um, I'm not a ghost or I'm not a spirit is in order to prove to them the prophecy has been fulfilled as well, and that he is bodily resurrected. Because the Bible says that he ascended bodily into heaven. He took his uh, fleshliness with him, but a glorified body. Yeah. Jesus time, describes a resurrected the body in the previous. I don't, can't remember. Don't, I'm, I'm not really. Yeah. Um, um, he says that a uh, resurrected body, when they ask him what is a resurrected body like, they say it's like unto the angels. But Lazarus be, wasn't like unto the angels. But, Je but Jesus says Christ that. resurrected him. No, he brought him back to life. He didn't resurrect Which is a resurrection. Him. You are re but resurrected. You are re um, constituted. Like you're not reconstituted. Sorry, you're reanimated. No, a, a zombie is a resurrected. But there's thing. Gives the Bible gives a Not perfect. In the Bible. No, but the Bible gives a perfect description of what a resurrected. Yeah, and they like brains. The Bible gives a perfect description of what a resurrected body is like. Well, if you can find that for me yeah. and put it in the comment section. Uh, what, what channel? Sorry? It's Soco. S O C O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see you all the time. Brilliant. Just, yeah, yeah. But then I will definitely look into it. But bear in mind. now since the lockdown starts? Uh, till the end of the lockdown, oh. we, it's not, but I may be back. But until once you go away, have a look at I am the resurrection. Christ saying that. Also look at him ascending bodily into heaven. Also look at him telling Thomas, put your fingers I, I in the in that. holes. Yeah, but that, that to me is a proof that he's trying to prove to them. Because when he uh, entered the upper room, they, they were scared. They thought they'd seen a spirit. But or they a, hadn't. They'd seen the they resurrected body. They thought they had seen exactly, a spirit. Exactly, and that's why they, he's showing them his flesh and saying, touch it. Exactly. Because a spirit has no flesh exactly. and bones. Exactly, so he must have but a body. A resurrected body is a spiritual body. Spiritual is not the same as spirit. It is. A, oh, no, it it's is. not. No, Eastern spiritualism has nothing to do with just a spirit. What, said, My spirit is here at the moment. That doesn't mean I'm sp feeling spiritual. It means I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> okay, but, okay, so now this is according. Now, now we're going forward saying that he did die or he didn't die. He but did die. The prophet, All Christians believe okay, he died he, and rose again. It, okay, is it Mary Madeline when she went she to visit him. him in the tomb? And yeah, she wasn't visiting him. She was coming along and she saw the stone had been removed and, and then she saw Christ. Um, but she didn't recognise him. She tried him. to touch him and he no, said, don't No, 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 touch hold me. on. No, no, no. She didn't recognise him. Um, she thought he was the gardener. And when yeah. he said to, when he spoke to her, somehow the scales were removed or the shock or whatever. I have and not she yet knew, ascended unto my father. She knew, yes, she knew it was so him. So doesn't he prove again that he had... You he, can only ascend Once you've been resurrected. Well, he is resurrected because he's speaking with her. But he told her that he it's wasn't. his body. Excellent. I, Okay, like thank really, you. no, thank no, no. You. Yeah, but privilege. honestly, if you if you're a Christian, yeah. try to pray. Obviously, pray around it. But the Bible itself says that if you believe that he 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 died, was resurrected, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. Me personally, I don't think there's a right hand of the Father. I think that is symbology. But the the resurrection is central, central to Christianity. Well, it's down today. Well, when you, um, again, there's like two parts of the Bible. I'm, I'm going to have to get you the quote. Get, for get me in the comment section. And uh, during the coming closed weeks, we can have a Skype call and put it up. Uh, Brilliant. What's your name? Sham. K. Sham. Sorry, was it? <laughs> nice K. K. As in the letter. Sham. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I've got five minutes, Kay. Yeah, I, well, I've got two minutes. Two minutes, K. Two minutes. I'm looking for that like, common thing. Obviously, you've there must be a common theme amongst people, Abrahamic faiths, that, that want to know God. What is that? Is that knowing God or is that believing God? 
Okay, so that I don't necessarily believe there is a common theme between Abrahamic faiths because I I don't believe that Islam is truly an Abrahamic okay. faith. Well, so, but the common the common theme of the Bible as a whole. So the Old Testament for me is about God's faithfulness, His promises, His prophecies, His chosen and their unfaithful. So his faithfulness despite and in spite of their unfaithfulness and, and sinful nature. So firstly, he sends um, the Holy Spirit to convict, no, sorry, he sends the law to convict them of their sin. That's Israel. And they keep, like literally as Moses steps down, they're already worshiping idols. All I'm saying is me as a, a person theme. who has a mixed heritage and a mixed background, but British. Uh, now, if I feel Obviously, I fluctuated between agnostic and believing in an eternal God right. in whatever form, in whatever explanation. And I've stayed away really from established religion, and I still have very. That's, that's a different separate. Yeah, I, I have is, issues with established yeah, churches yeah. or mosques or whatever temples. But isn't it important for me is to know God? Yes. And to, to accept him as, yes. as as a true God. Yes. Whatever limited understanding I come to. What I would I, suggest And to wouldn't you, that be enough? No. Wouldn't that be enough? No. I'm answering you, no. It doesn't Why even matter what enough? you say afterwards. Why it because be God enough? himself says so. So if you're going to get... You're turning your back to the sorry, camera. Sorry. So if God is going to... Um, reveal to you truth yeah. um, that truth has to be taken on board like as gospel God, no the common a relationship no, the common knowing God yes and the only mediator between man and God is Jesus Christ you can maybe but he's, he's not here he is actually he's the Holy Spirit You're indwells the Holy Christians Spirit can't be in him, everyone the no Holy only Spirit those who confess Christ what about my ancestors before Christ do they have the Holy Spirit mate, uh, no before, they, before, before well, hold before, can I answer you sorry before the resurrection yeah. that covenant wasn't in place so anyone under the old covenant didn't need the blood of Christ I mean they surely needed it but they didn't have that option yeah. so the old covenant is a different contract altogether so people prior to Christ would be judged either on their adherence to the Mosaic law or how who, however God chose to judge those people because I don't know but do we really know what God I think God will judge us he 100% will, and will I know that will judge us on whether we try to know him no and that's it unfortunately not, no. I don't think so. But the Christian worldview is that that's now? wrong. I could do with a we don't now. need one. Because, I tell you why. Because Jesus Christ said, up until John, the law and the prophets, and after that time, the kingdom is being preached, and every what man will try. I don't finish the quote. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and every I'm man will try to elbow him, elbow his way in yeah. violently. So there's no other prophets coming, until including he's Muhammad. Returned. Until he's returned. No, when he returns, that sick, that heralds in the end times, and then it's basically judgment is don't, coming. Don't we have the, the establishment of the temple in Jerusalem? No, we have the old, the, this earth and, and this heaven. On earth, I'm letting you know. The Bible says this earth and heaven will pass away, but Christ's words will by no means pass away. This is in Hebrews, but it says there will be a new heaven and a new earth, and Christ will reign so on the new earth. He returns to destroy. To no, no, no. It will be destroyed. And then he comes. And then, uh, no, no, no. He'll come in this present uh, earth because it says every eye will see him, uh, the Son of Man coming on clouds Just of glory. Just before it's destroyed. There's academic uh, disagreement as to whether Christians are going to be uh, pulled up to heaven before the major tribulation of Revelation and Daniel, or whether it's going to be pre-tribulation. why or, all the prophets in the Middle East, the ones that we uh, know Because of, they're from the, the Quran, line of Israel. No, the Quran doesn't have it. The, the Quran, I'm afraid, oh, okay. that's the not. The Torah, yeah, the, the Old Testament. Okay, the because New God Testament. blessed Jacob, so they're all from the line of Israel, who is Jacob. And that was and part I, of God's am I blessing. Not a creation of God. You are a creation of God. So yes. Why, why doesn't He love Actually, me Actually, you're a creation to, of Christ. To yeah. have someone that I could. He loves you to. enough to die for you. <laughs> yeah, and are you so secular that you only identify? I don't know Hang on, wait up. Are you are you telling me that if someone's from London, yeah. you couldn't possibly accept their I testimony? I can believe in the concept of God. But don't they have to be from the Middle if East? If I can experience it. But you can, can experience it. That's what I'm saying. The Bible says no man but will be without. No, I don't want you to do anything. I want to go. Oh, sorry. No, 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 but what no, I'm saying I mean, is the Bible, yeah, the Bible says that um, no man will be with excuse on Judgment Day because the reality, basically, of God has been made evident to everybody just through creation. 
Like, and then if it's up to you, if you don't seek out the truth, and Christ says, I am the truth, I am the only way. But is it predestined that I will experience God? God will have written your name in the... In so the, if my name's done, I've got nothing to worry about, he'll come to me. If you have been called, you will come to God. I've lived a very ethical life, Craig. Right? Yeah, it, it doesn't. May not it doesn't it. make a difference. It does. No, it doesn't. I it, it, no, I'll tell you why. Because it was ethical. No, no, let me tell you. It was ethical in Nazi Germany to kill a Jew. So the world is under the control was of it? Satan. Was yes, it was. It? it was legal. Legal. Yes, yes. It was yeah. accepted. Yes. But there were so laws. therefore, we don't go along with secularism because God's law never changes. His word never changes. No, I accept that. I accept yeah. that. They were wrong. Um, they were wrong, yeah. yeah but only wrong. only if you appeal to an objective standard of morality. I accept that. Exactly. I accept so that, once you, know, you could, you could once, justify anything. Yes, so once you know outside of yourself that there is an objective moral standard, that must be God. It's but not human it, it's, in origin. It's something inside. It's intuition. But, it's but that not, can but only be experienced. No, no, no. That but can only be experienced. Why? Yes, but because... Um, human beings often don't want to do the right thing, so our intuitive thing is to do the easy thing, and the little voice says, "Well, oh, you is really that shouldn't the soul? do." Is that the soul? Uh, that's or the consciousness. I, be I believe that's uh, that's God. Uh, the consciousness. You. Yes, yes, conscience. Soul is very spiritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, conscience. Yeah, okay, conscience. Thanks, Kay. That'd You're very great. welcome. Thank you very much. God bless, you. bless you. All. Take care. Thank and you, you bye too. Bye bye. Wrap up. Wrap up there, okay. Right. So I had a, two brief conversations. One about. Uh, well, this last one was basically a few questions. The guy originally wanted to know what's the common theme between Abrahamic religions and is the Bible the word of God in the sense of an eternal book like the Quran? And I say, no, it isn't, because I believe it's, there'll be a time, and there is a time right now in certain places where the Bible is illegal, where it's very difficult to obtain, where it's been translated to within an inch of its life where it's um, not of any benefit to the Christians there and it's actually an identifying feature that can get them killed. So what I would say is because we are indwelt by the Holy Spirit, um, in actual fact the Bible is one, of, you know, the most valuable book we've got and it is certainly, I wouldn't want to be without it, but at the same time, Sola Scriptura is not really my position because I believe if of any of the solas, Solos Christos must be the one or Sola Fide or like an amalgamation of all of them. So the gentleman just wanted to know about Abrahamic faiths and I think he's like seeking the truth but obviously when you're more secular you come up with this thing of I'm pretty ethical or I can do the right thing or I've been a nice person but God himself tells us that with the Bible so there is none good, not one. So um, without the Holy Spirit, we can't be genuinely peaceful or patient or merciful or kind. And um, I hope that everybody listen, who listens to the word of God through me, through anybody, has the humility or the like a second thought to just prayerfully ask for the revelation of the truth. Because what's the harm? Like if you pray for it, you know, and with a sincere and penitent heart, then I did, and I got it very forcefully proven to me. I mean, you may have an easier, like, more gentle uh, induction, as it were, but it's better to be with God than against God. And if you, if you think you're an atheist, I would suggest that you're going to have to prove that. You're going to have to bring evidence for something that you're claiming doesn't exist, whereas I can bring evidence for my beliefs um, other than the Bible. I can appeal to, you know, to lots of other things. So there you go. During the lockdown, please continue to subscribe and like and share and, and come and give us ideas if you want for footage. If you, you know, potentially we'll all be out in the street preaching like lunatics. Not to say street preachers are lunatics, but yeah, some of them are. All right then. Anyway, God bless. I'm hungry. Bye bye.